Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo Man here, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna take a look at what possibilities new redstone features added in 1.11 brings us. In front of you, we have five different redstone circuits which are using the observer block to make redstone even more easy and more advanced for us. The first redstone circuit I want to show you is this small, simple clock. It's a clock using the observer block like this, and you can put a redstone output from the back of it, like this. It's very simple and it's very adjustable, so if you want to have like a slower clock, you just change this repeater here, and you can change it however you want it. It's a very simple build, so let's, let me show you how to build this. All you need is a piston like this, you need a redstone repeater into the, into the piston here, then you need a block with a redstone on it, and then the observer block facing into here. And it already starts, and the way, the way to stop this is using a lever like this. So now you constantly power this piston, which means it cannot like operate like a clock. But once you switch this lever, it starts again. The second redstone circuit I want to show you is a more advanced clock, which you can adjust even more and make some pretty cool patterns with it. So let me just take it on like this. You can see the way the piston moves and how the redstone output is going. It's kind of just like two quick and then one long, which you could use to make very cool like movements and stuff like that. You could also like adjust it with like extending how these pistons work, like make it faster. You can make it very slow. You can you can just adjust it like however you want to. And it's a very cool and very simple design. So let me show you how to do this. Turn it off and you use exactly the same materials as you did on the first one. You place down your piston and then a repeater facing into it. Then you place a block with a repeater, then a block like that and then a redstone beneath it. And then you just put the observer block in front of it and it starts. Then you use the lever to stop and start it. It's a very simple design and very cool, you can use it in many different redstone circuits and I'm looking forward to what you guys can come up with. The third redstone circuit I have in front of you guys is an elevator, a piston translocator elevator, which is not ba made by myself, it's actually made by DocM77, check them out on the YouTubes, and it's very quick, using the observer block, so if I jump up here now, boom, I'm on, I'm on the top, it's very quickly, and that's because the observer block does not add any delay to the redstone signal, so let me show you how to do this. You use a string like this, you need an observer block, you need some kind of solid block, like block of iron or something, and then some redstone, and then of course the piston. So what you do is you start off like with base here, which will have a string. This is the block that starts the whole circuit. Then you'll have an observer block which observes whenever you hit this string, this one will admit a small redstone signal, which will power this redstone block or the redstone here and then you will have an observer here to observe this block so whenever this is powered this one powers this piston okay so when you jump into here you'll get pulled up straight away it's very simple and the way to extend this or make it even like taller you can do it as tall as you want to it's just by adding like this part here on top let me show you put a string on the piston here and then a block like that with redstone on, observer block, then a new block like that, an observer facing this way, and then an observer block facing this way, with a piston going down like that. So let me try this now. We should be on the top. It's a little bit laggy because it's going so quick. The fourth design I have for you does not have any purpose at all, but I just think it's really fun. This uh, observer block like updates when there's a block here and it just pushed it away very simple just like this and it will of course stop when it reaches the piston limit like that but it's just very simple and you could add like this in like a big circuit and all the blocks would travel and um, like if you put this in a small circle like this the blocks would travel between the blocks it's very cool let me show you how to do this get rid of the diamond block you need a piston the observer block and some redstone, that's all you need. It's very simple. So first off, you just place the piston like that. And then you have an observer block, like with the observer spot on this side. And then you have the another one like this, and with a redstone behind it. 
So whenever something happens here, the pistons extend instantly. The last redstone circuit I will show you is probably the most evolutionary redstone circuit here, the instant redstone signal. I saw this first on Mambo Jumbo's channel and it's very cool, it's very efficient. Whenever I flick this lever now, you will see like this piston extends extremely quickly, but the redstone travels all the way around. So look at this guys, it's extremely fast and this can make redstone so much more efficient and makes up or opens up for many new possibilities. That's about it from me today guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this 5 different redstone circuit using the server block. I hope it was helpful, I hope you can use the design yourself to extend your redstone imagination and create some awesome stuff. If you do so, be sure to let me know. You can tag me on Twitter, tag me, show me on YouTube, I don't know. Just let me know and I just want to see what kind of redstone circuits you come up with. If you enjoyed this small redstone video, be sure to let me know with a comment down below and don't forget to press that like button. And if you haven't done already, be sure to subscribe and all that stuff. It has been Vigo Man.